Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Feel Good Pouring Station. And y'all, I am in love with these canvases. Yes, these are Easter egg oval canvases. <laughs> um, but um, Master's Touch brand Hobby Lobby. So we are back with my Bohemian Spring series. These are all the colors. And so if you haven't seen the first video, basically I just chose a bunch of ran random colors and I am making great color palettes with it through trial and error. So today we're gonna do some blooms. So as you can see, I'm going to be playing with some of my favorite colors today. Uh, Quinacridone, Nicoazo Gold, and Iridescent Bright Gold pair beautifully together. Um, the transparency of the Nickel Gold really spreads out nicely and can really help to create a lot of different colors. Uh, Bordeaux Red is a classic. It's by Arteza. You have to use it sparingly though because it can take over and this is Crescendo. This is a pigment by TLP and baby, baby, fire. <laughs> um, also, my ratio is three to one, three parts pouring me in a one part paint. I have a video that walks you through exactly how I mix my paint for my blooms. And um, yeah, cell activator is also the same, which is coming up. It's going to be three to one Australian Floetrol to two paint. And this is a Payne's Gray Pearlized Purple mix right here. Gorgeous color, like, going to be adding that to the arsenal. And, ladies and gentlemen, I added a new color to what you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, this is Prussian Blue and Cobalt Teal mixed together. Excuse me, Cobalt Turquoise. With so many lighter and brighter colors in this theme, I thought it would be nice to add one more dark color. Um, and so this is what I decided on based on all the colors that uh, are in this theme. All right, so once again, we're doing a double cell activator. And don't forget, friends, especially my new folks to Blooms, you are looking for a halo, look there. Bam, bam, bam. We're going to add that black on top. Um, that halo under that first cell activator is a good indication that you are likely going to have a really good bloom. <laughs> All right, so let me explain the method to my madness. Remember, every artist does something a little different. I like to blow out my cell activator to kind of open it up and let it collect back. Then I use my hair dryer. Don't ask me why, it just works for me, baby. So, baby, we're doing the instant replay because just about everything about this blow over was just perfect. You can see I'm making little ripples as I move the cell activator and paint over itself. This is going to allow all of your colors to pop up. This can help you get some... Peacock cells and just look at how the colors mix so beautifully with each other the lighter colors are popping through i will tell you that this color combo is perfect like this is exactly what i wanted um i've using my straw to help some cells pop up 
And when we spin, all those beautiful colors underneath are going to start to show and reveal themselves more. Okay. Now, as we spin, y'all going to be a little mad at me. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm warning you <laughs> that everything about this piece was perfect with the exception of my cells in the center. They were fuzzy for my liking. And as the piece started to really settle and I was going to let it dry, I could tell that I wouldn't be happy with um, selling this piece or keeping it because the cells just weren't exactly what I wanted. Um, I am making art right now to sell. I have a show coming up. I am striving for perfection, although you can never be perfect. Okay, but there is a silver lining in this story coming up. All right, so while we're spinning, friends, take a moment. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, if you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. And I hope that you enjoy my content. I'm a little quirky. I'm a little corny, uh, but I like to give information. I love to give a good tip and I love to paint. So <laughs> uh, we're going to keep spinning here. We're just trying to get enough paint off my canvas. Um, I have quite a bit of paint up there and I want this or wanted this piece to dry well. So that is why I'm continu continuing to spin. But also as I do that, more of those bright colors underneath are coming up, okay? Okay, friends, so I ended up scraping this piece and I wish I had kept it, but I'm glad that I didn't because I was just playing around and, you know, scraping and I just scraped everything towards the center, loaded up my scraper and created a gorgeous pleat. Never done a pleat before. If you haven't seen Shelly, uh, Carruthers doing these lately, uh, along with a few other artists, um, I've just stumbled across it and I just, just decided to have some fun and baby, it paid off. So I now have some ideas of what I'm going to do next with my pleat, but baby, get into these colors. Look at this, baby, worth it. Sometimes you have to lose a little to gain a little more. Okay, that's a good life tip. All right, but I also have another another thing that happened in this video that's epic. Okay, something I've never done before. Um, and I'm going to show you at the end when it pops up. But if I have any Pepsi Cola fans out there, you're going to enjoy this. Stick around, stay tuned. We're doing another bloom with our colors, okay? I am changing up the colors um, so you can see the possibilities with this color palette. Friends, it will not bother me if you use this color palette, try some stuff out on your own. Um, if you want to shout me out, I would greatly appreciate it. But if not, it's cool. I get it. All right, we all share ideas. Um, this is, once again, my colors that you saw at the beginning of the video and now... Uh, we're just playing around with a little bit of a different combination, but we're going to get a completely different outcome.
Okay, so why all the fuss? What have I been talking about this whole video? Look, a three lined cell that looks like a Pepsi can. Y'all, I it's the small things in life. That thing is so dope. Like, I don't think that it's an actual cell. Well, I think what happened, the colors popped up. Um, I got some micro cells here. Um, and I get those a lot if you reuse a pillow. But yeah, I have no clue how I created that Pepsi cell. But I like it. 